This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Function with Parameters. Make your loop star color function. Awesome. We're going to be building this app, and it connects throughout a few levels. Cool. Right now, only the red star works, so you'll need to change this code. Do this. Ah, this is like what we've been doing before. Use the code from the loop red star function to create a loop star color function that will work with ever, any star. Which is great, because we have an array here, so we can use that array, this list of colors, to loop through. So loop red star function, right here. Oh no, this is just where we call it. Well, where's loop red star? Move player, choose one. Move red star. Oh, they put it at the top. All right, great. So loop red star to create a loop star. Okay, so we're going to rename this loop star. And then notice loop stars. I bet we're going to use loop stars to call it. All right, and then we need the parameter here. We're going to use the parameter color. Okay, so if I'm going to use color here, I bet I need to replace all of the spots that say red to be color. Because we no longer are using that color because we're going to use this parameter it's like a variable and this is what we've been doing in the last couple parts of this lesson all right so now it's all set to color loop red star doesn't exist anymore we want to do loop star okay loop star and then we would want to do we have our loop in here Oh no, this is an if. Hmm. Well, we could put it either. We can put it, we don't, ah, okay, we don't, got it. We just want red star and blue star right now. Cool. So we have loop star, which is great, but we need a color here. So I, we're going to use, just like they say here, loop red, and then I'm going to put it again, and we'll call it for blue. We don't. So loop star blue. And then as we move it, it should, every time on the event that the accelerometer detects data, detects movement, this function runs. We're going to move player. Zoop. So it goes and runs this code, this code, and it moves the character a bit. Then after it moves that, it goes loop stars. Oh, loop stars. Okay, loop red star. And now, okay, loop red, loop stars here. Loop star, loop star. Cool. And then color, oh yeah, red. So it turns that to red. Great. And then we check the red star function. Then we, if we're still moving, we go back through. And then, oh wait, after we loop red star, we'll loop blue now. Because we have two in there. Then we check red star. Let's test it out. Oh, wow. That disappeared fast. I think it's working. <laughs> cool let's keep going